So here is a walkthrough on how to hook up your um, Strymon's MIDI in, MIDI out through the RJ and PBC. This will be on the 10 series. It's the same concept for the, the 6X, except you need a special MIDI in, out, Y split cable to do this. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to hook up your MIDI pedals so you'll do your MIDI out to the MIDI in on um, whatever your first time in pedal is. So like for me, it's going to be a timeline. And then on the MIDI out to the Mobius in, the MIDI in on the Mobius. And the MIDI out of the Mobius to the MIDI in on the PBC. So what you're doing is connecting a circuit. So if we scroll over here, you'll see we put, um, we put the time on channel one, the big sky on channel two, and as you see, it's MIDI in and out of the PBC right now. So there's a few steps you're gonna have to do. You'll have to go in. I don't think we can do it from here. Uh, we have a pre-post on this uh, on this setup um, via the RJM. But what you'll have to do is you'll have to go into your main your your settings page on on here by holding it down and make sure you have your MIDI on, your MIDI through on, and set to merge. Make sure your MIDI through is set to merge. So then once that's set to merge, all you have to do is come to the PM the PBC and go to this MIDI tab up in the top left, the top middle-ish side. And you just want to make sure this MIDI forward is on. Once the MIDI forward is on, you can write changes to your device once it's loaded. And then you'll see that like we'll do this and click out of Nixie. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll open up Nixie now and it will automatically load all of your presets. And then anytime you change a preset, they will change. So the best part about this is that you can double tap the timeline. You can put in a name, milliseconds, whatever you want. And you can also just type clean or whatever you, whatever you wanted to say. And then you will see it will also correlate onto your big sky or your timeline for the name changes. Um, I use this more for the timeline. Once I have my big sky settings on my, on my unit, my personal board, I don't really touch that stuff. It's mostly for delays and changing delays and delayed names and those types of things. So that's it. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you.